My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Let's hang loose with this 49 Ford Woody Wagon. Gorgeous car, it's got the look, the stance, the wheels, third row seating, leather, uh, the wood's all redone. We'll even throw in the surfboard. You have to get your own lessons. Uh, anyway, this is a good, solid, rust-free, low-mile, clean car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and look at all the pictures. And if you go to our website, you'll find a price tag on this car along with every other car that's for sale and a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin or a swim. Uh, yeah, 49 Ford Custom, they call it. Not because it's customized, but that's what they called the, uh, the higher end uh, car. They called it the Custom. I'm just going to put this in here before I drop it. So the body on this thing is excellent. Big one-piece metal roof is straight, no issues. The whole front end fits beautifully, absolutely straight, absolutely no rust, fantastic. All the wood was completely redone by a specialist, uh, wood by whiskers. I looked him up and they specialize in uh, redoing the wood for these old cars. So it's all redone. I believe it's uh, birch and maple. It's all refinished. The clear coat, the top layer of clear is coming uh, delaminated in places. Uh, the wood is pristine. It's nice the way it is. You keep it in a nice garage. You don't have to worry about it. But the clear coat is coming off. So uh, stripping it and revarnishing it, you do that right on the car. You don't have to take it apart. Uh, that would make it like new. Again, the wood is professionally redone, excellent condition. Uh, see, it says custom right here. All this metal is pristine. I mean, the paint is polished like a mirror. Absolutely straight metal, clean, no issues. I forgot to talk about the underside. Uh, it's got four and a half inch drop spindles. That's what just reminded me. This front end is lowered. It's got that nice stance. The underbody of this car has no rust. I didn't find any cuts or splices or patches. The inner rockers, the floors, the braces, all look to be 100% clean, original metal. Uh, it does have a new single exhaust system. The shocks and back look new. It's at four inch drop spindles in front. Uh, looks like it's maintained as needed. It has the e-brake systems hooked up. Uh, looks proper and orderly, but not a not a frame off, not a you know nut and bolt restoration, uh, but looks proper. Uh, this car's also gone through our service department already, so they have inspected it as well. I see it's got a stainless Ford V8 exhaust tip on the exhaust. Uh, getting back to the body again, all the black is just absolutely pristine, and again the wood is all redone professionally. Uh, but the clear uh, could use refinishing. All the hardware is shiny. Looks like the original glass. This window slides open. Tires and wheels are a fairly new feature on this car, or addition to this car. I think they did a cool job picking it out. Uh, from Coker Classics, big, fat, radial, white wall tires. Still has the nubs on the tires, so not many miles on them. And it has the rims from Coker Classics, obviously painted red with the chrome lug nuts and centers and trim ring. That's what sold me on the car, that and the surfboard. Just put this over the top. Really, the car is stock, except for the stance, uh, missing the hubcaps and the surfboard. It's an original Ford, but just gives it a whole custom look to it. Up front here, the chrome bumpers sparkling, all the grill here, 1949 California plate, hood ornament, all this stuff looks beautiful. All in really nice shape. The lenses are real nice. Windshield's crystal clear. All the trim is nice. The mirror's excellent. The antenna looks like new. The car just has a really good appearance. 
Now coming around back, it does have the uh, tire on back. Maybe uh, some of you people know, do they all come with it or not? I find pictures with the tire, without the tire. <clears throat> I, I have original brochure in the glove box and it doesn't have a tire. So I assume that's an option. We'll open all this up when we stop the car. But the back bumper, all re-chromed, and the paint is just fantastic. It's not, I mean, it's like a mirror. The black is like literally like a mirror on this car. So there you have it. That's the outside. We're going to open it up, give you a tour of the inside. So we got a two-piece tailgate, real easy to use. Glass is in excellent shape. They actually replaced the uh, hardware with some gas struts, so it opened up practically on its own. Now, there's two chrome latches inside, which I've already unhooked. That lowers down like that. Uh, got refinished wood on the tailgate. And we'll show more inside, but the whole inside uh, panels are redone. This looks like the original rubber flooring back here, the rear deck. And that's the back of the rear seat. The weather strips are nice and soft. Very nostalgic, very cool. This was their most expensive uh, car, top of the line for Ford that year. Now you can see the door jams are real nice, clean metal. And then the interior uh, panels, I think it's mahogany. Now the trim, the metal trim around the window frames up here, and there is a scratch right here. This is all painted. It's made to look like a wood. That's the way they were, and then the side panels are actually wood. And this whole dash is all painted with the wood grain effect. Look how nice everything is. It is claimed to be 43,000 actual miles, and uh, I have no proof of that, but it could be. This is all so nice. The knobs, the radio works. It's a tube radio. I turned it on. It takes a minute, but it comes on. It has the optional clock. Here in the glove box, we got a missing screw underneath here. It fell out, so if you buy it, tell the salesman they have that fixed. It still has a, a rag for cleaning uh, in here, along with some original literature, uh, an old oil change sticker, uh, so it comes with some neat stuff. Original glove box liners in real good shape. Kick panels are nice as the Magic Air heater. Uh, looks like the original black rubber mat. There is some cracking, but it's all in one piece. Uh, the steering wheel is mint. The horn button. Uh, Three-speed manual. Shifts through the gears real easily. Uh, has turn signals. Um, Actual leather seats. This is the genuine leather. It's in excellent shape. It's soft and smooth. Now, originally, just the front seat was leather. The other two would be vinyl. But I'm going to bet this is also leather. I think all three rows of seating is redone in genuine leather. <clears throat> now, the third row is an option. Uh, I'm sure it folds down somehow to make it flat for storing or hauling things. And all the wood is real nice. All the metal's painted. It has a leather type. It's vinyl, <laughs> but in the brochure they call it like a leather type headliner. This dome light does work. There's a switch over there, and you turn the switch on, it does work. Matching visors. So the interior in this car is really in great shape. Glass is real nice. All the trim is real nice. It's an exceptional car. So it has a flathead V8 motor. Runs as smooth as can be. Painted up real nice. Uh, all new chrome head uh, bolts or nuts. New spark plugs. Look at the wires are all run neatly. Oil filter has the sticker. The fuel pump, the carburetor, air cleaner, everything looks really nice. Uh, Ford hose with the clamps and the right cap. Look at the engine bay. Look how smooth and clean the metal is. That's not layers and layers of flaky paint. All the hoses, the exhaust manifolds. Everything is neat and tidy. Now 
the wirings run nicely, the battery properly secured. So I think it's a very nice motor compartment. I think that firewall is the original paint. just a fun car again the, the California vibe uh, just a neat fun car I don't care how young how old you are uh, this is just going to put smiles on people's faces you're going to really enjoy using it that door shuts solid just a nice clean honest example of a Ford Woody this was the last of the era the 49 through the 51 Ford Woody as the last year they used real wood. After that, it was just painted metal. They went on to be called the Tin Woodies after this. So this is the last of an era. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman about your questions you may still have. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it at Volo <coughs> Excuse me. volocars.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new one's posted. Thanks for watching.